Do you smell that? It's time to roast some AIR bros. You are the worst, rudest, most toxic community I've ever seen come into the art world. And for that reason, I'm gonna be objecting to every single one of the most popular comments that you've seen on my videos and in other AI art videos that don't follow the rhetoric. The most common claim to fame that you'll see is that, yes, an AI artist did win the Colorado State Fair. But my friend, just in case you are outside of the United States or you don't have access to a state fair, let me just give you a little bit of insight here. This is not a high profile art event. So their major claim to fame is that it won an event that in the same exact place, you can also watch a pig show, you can eat some deep fried Oreos and Twinkies, you can go ahead and go down a slide on a potato sack. Does that sound like a prolific art event? It's just not. So can we please drop it from that? What else do you have? The next most popular thing that I always hear AIR bros say is that AIR is being treated in just like photography, digital art, and photo bashing. But please give me a moment while I just dismantle this argument because no, it is a brutally unfair comparison that we absolutely cannot entertain. And here's why. So first off, photography. Just because you have a camera does not make you a photographer. A lot of you right now are probably watching me on a smartphone, therefore you have access to a camera, but you don't consider yourself a photographer. There are a lot of artistic principles and theories put into what constitutes a great photograph, and that's why you have complete sovereignty over how your image looks, which you do not get with AI art. When you're going to photo bash, you have complete sovereignty over how and where that image is applied. I have complete control over how much of it is seen, how much is painted under it, on top of it, how it blends, what the layer modes are. That's all done by me, the artist, or you, the artist. It is not just slapped together and assumed that it's going to look best like this. So no, that's not a fair comparison because I have complete control over it. Now, digital art. What has been widely proven is just the fact that digital art requires the same amount of skill and effort as every other artistic medium out there. What's different about AI art is that it does not require really any effort. No, it is not the same at all in any comparison. Now, of course, we can't talk about anything having to do objecting to AI art without copium being thrown around. Let me just ask you, who are you, AI art bros, to tell artists that what they're doing right now, and just because they acknowledge AI art, but therefore don't care about it, that it's just delusional? Like, who are you? Can you all just calm down for a second? You've been on the scene for a minute. Artists have been around since forever. And just to let you know, friend, we're always going to be around. We're not going anywhere. And if you think that somehow the AI art revolution, if you want to call it, is really going to do anything to that, is going to take away the ability for human art making, you're severely and sorely wrong. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Are you going to raid my house? Is, is there gonna be like AI art Gestapo that are gonna just rush into my house and take all of my tablets and my drawing materials? Cause I don't think that's gonna happen. So no, it's not copium just to go ahead and pursue things that we love. That's horribly rude, it's dismissive. And who do you think you are? Like nobody cares about your opinion on this. You cannot say the word copium without voicing your own insecurity over the fact that you are the ones, AI art bros, who are actually intimidated by real artists and real potential that happens there. And again, you're just worried that if AIR goes away, that you are not going to have the ability to create artistry anymore. You have to admit it. Now, my next set of comments here all deal with the fact that AR bros claim that AR is better than 99% of artists. Whoa, Nelly, let's calm down for a second here. So what exactly is this 99% that y'all are being so hung up on? Because to be honest, I don't see where that's coming from. Let me give you a real statistic, which is that in my opinion, AR is totally inferior to 100% of actual professional artists out there. Though, you know, the ones that are actually getting paid for their artwork, the ones that are employed by companies, the worst part about this rhetoric to me is the fact that y'all live under the talent complex, which is that you believe that certain people are born and endowed with certain gifts. This is wrong. There's absolutely no credible evidence supporting the fact that people are born with certain gifts. In fact, this is the entire topic of my dissertation. Talent isn't real. Furthermore, art is and always will be a field for the passionate. So if you're a real artist that's watching this, don't be bothered by AI art. If you're passionate about what you're doing and you are persistent and consistent, you will always outclass. You will always be on top and you will always achieve more. It's just a fact of life, friend. 
you will always get what you pursue if you never stop pursuing it. And art bros always assert that people don't actually want really great or meaningful art. What they're looking for is what's good enough. <sighs> we are about to have at it right here, friends. If you are in the business of art and you think that you can get anywhere in any art business with just what's good enough, let me just tell you, friend, you're gonna fail at it, okay? Art is a field for the passionate and it's for the field of excellence and building excellence. If you are strictly looking for what's good enough, then you really are mediocre and you have to see that and that's not gonna lead you to be excellent in anything. Let's just take the outside of the field of art. Would you marry somebody that's just acceptable? Do you want kids that are just okay? Do you wanna have a life that's just, well, it's good enough? No, that's lame. Who wants to live that? Who wants to be excited for that? No, but you as a real artist watching this video, you absolutely can and should pursue things that are gonna make your life killer, that are gonna make it enviable, that it's gonna make it awesome, that you are gonna be proud of who you're married to or your kids or your lifestyle and especially your artwork. And AI art bros, y'all just don't get this because you just came onto the scene. It's not okay though. Stop telling people that they're not good enough because art just needs to be good enough. You just don't know anything about art and you have to come to that conclusion. These next examples show that AI art bros assert that because of AR, now everybody has access to creativity and everybody can be an artist. This is totally delusional and here's how I wanna prove it to you. If you took away all of my ability to create digital art, I am still an artist because I understand art, because I've studied it, because I've been engrossed in it, because I understand all of the elements and principles and the conceptual undertones necessary and the theory behind what makes an artwork and what makes an artist. You as an AI user, if that technology goes away, you are no longer an artist. If you're doing this just for fun, like I have no issue with it, but if you're just going ahead and using text to image creation and then you're asserting that that's artwork, it's not. If you don't understand what creates an actual artwork, friend, and you don't understand the work of an artwork, then you cannot assert that you are an artist. And no, friend, this is not gatekeeping. This is entirely well documented. And I can think of at least six to eight books off the top of my head by artistic and educational scholars that are gonna back up what I'm saying. All you AI art bros have to say for your backup is that billionaire companies say that to you. That's the common rhetoric and it's not right and it's completely unproven. What creates real passionate, motivating, inspirational artwork can never be output by a machine because it is completely incapable of understanding it. AI art bros love to assert that there's no point in developing an art style because it can just be trained into an AI algorithm, right? Ooh, wrong. I have never, ever, ever seen in all of my research any AI art generated image that looks exactly or better than what it was trained on. It just doesn't happen. Like all these famous artists, like take Kim Jong Ji, for example. Those AI images, they're atrocious. They're ugly, they're entirely flawed, and it's never gonna get any better than that, okay? You can't replace it. Y'all trying to assert this, you are the wish user to the actual originator. You are the fast food to the five-star restaurant. Y'all are the motel to the Ritz Carlson. And that's always how it's going to be. There's always gonna be a gap and divide. And that's what AI art bros don't really wanna feel bad about. And I'm not saying that you should feel bad by the way, but you just don't wanna recognize you got your head in the sand and just to use your own term against you, copium. That's what that is. You're delusional about that fact. And it's not okay for you to go ahead and assert to artists that there's no sense in them pursuing their passions and following their own interests and building their own art style because it can just be trained. No, all you get is a really ugly, devolved, horrific evolution of what could and is an art style. If you're trying to assert this, then I'm just gonna go ahead and counter to you. You don't understand art enough to make an actual assertion about it or to make an informed opinion. I keep hearing all the time about how automation is gonna replace artists and that's a big topic for AI art bros is that it's just gonna go ahead and replace it and there's gonna be no place at all for artists, people that are actually producing human-made artwork, right? Y'all, we really gotta have a talk about this. Art is not just a picture. It is not an image. 
The big difference is that AI art will never be able to surpass is the fact that art contains a narrative and it contains humanity. And that is well documented. There are scholars, there's lots of research on it. There's tons of books and articles that you can go out there and read, but you probably won't right now because you're trying too hard to defend your little territory on this one. So let me just help you out on this one. First off, cheap artist farms, they're the ones that are gonna get hit most. You know, the websites that really promote people doing like 20, 30, 10, $5 commissions. So congratulations, AI art. Thanks so much for taking cheap art jobs from us so that now we can have our artwork promoted up and it can actually help artists who are not pricing themselves well to actually price themselves more respectfully. Good job, AI art. Thanks for taking those. If you're an artist right now who has really low pricing, I want you to feel empowered by this because you are gonna become more in demand the more that you pursue your artistry and the more that your skill grows and develops. So definitely go after that. The worst and rudest thing I always hear from AR bros is how we should just give up as artists, as if it's not worth pursuing. But my friends, I just wanna tell you right now, this is a lie and AI art bros, in the AI art industry, they want you to feel this way. They want you to feel in fear and I want you to be aware of the lies. And that's why you need to be aware of their tactics and the lies being propagated by AI art, which is why you should watch this video right here to learn about it.